Hello. In this topic, we are going to look at budgetary control overrides and the budget transfers. Starting off, budget control overrides. Remember, it's an option that you can take in your control budget. We are seeing the screen here where you want to set up your maximum override amounts and the type of override that you are setting up. So, is it a closed period or insufficient funds? And you can then choose to notify the budget manager when there are no overrides available or when overrides are taken. Now, for the closed period one, if your control budget is set to absolute control level and the allow override option is enabled, you can request an override for acquisitions purchase orders, payable invoices, and the general DJ journals if your transaction exceeds funds available when you are trying to create a transaction in a closed budget period. It doesn't work for parliamentary closed, just closed periods. You can use it for overriding, as I see, invoice, etc. It doesn't get used for overriding for purchase orders and requisitions or purchasing transactions or acquisition transactions as they don't have the period concept. If you do request an override, you will see them in the budgetary control dashboard. So into budgetary control and budgetary control and you won't see any overrides that you have requested and any requiring your attention because when you set up your override you have a user assigned who's going to get that request for the override so moving on budgetary control validation diagnostics you can review budgetary control validation errors and the resolutions in the budgetary control validation diagnostics data test report so you can use this report to understand the reasons for and the details of budgetary control validation results for transactions that has been reserved or funds checked so if you think transactions aren't reserving funds as expected you can use the budgetary control validation diagnostics and also the machine's order lifecycle report to run that diagnostics you have to log into the application diagnostics administrator and then you select to run diagnostics tests and you choose the budgetary control validation diagnostics With our budget transfer, then we can do transfer between any combination of budget accounts within the same budget period or budget year. So as you review your budgets on the review budget control balance page, you can select budget accounts that require budgetary transfer and you add them to these budgetary transfer requests. Transfer between any combination of budget accounts within the same budget period or budget year. Let me now show you how you can do this into application as a budget transfer. Go to systems, select budgetary control. Budgetary control into tasks, review budgetary control balances. Here you have to select what's the control budget, uh, select your control budget, what is the amount, is it period to date or year to date, for which budget period, I will select the current period. To the same current period, fund funds amount greater than less than percent greater than percent less than. I will select all amount, so I have to select the two counts combinations for all my segments.
value sets and you want some rate. First value set as a circuit. So program I will put program unit zeros count I will put my count because I have to find my budget of the summary. So I will select summary account. Enter company I will select zero project zero as a default feature one the same feature two the same click on search you will find a lot of good combination related to these value sets I can select another first one for example there are one hundred three thousand and select transfer either from this account or to this account I will transfer from this account which I already selected I will transfer 3000 to the second line as a second account from program 2 to program 3 for the same account so I will select from this account again search again select the second line and make it to this account so here there are two for the transfer request you have then select budget transfer request and here you will find the budget transfer name as request name budget usage as you can see here that you can just do this for your budgetary control budget or you could do this transfer for budgetary control and general ledger at the same time so your budgets will be updated simultaneously but you can also continue to transfer in budgetary control and the general ledger separately if you want to do but i'm just going to do it for the budgetary control validation but just to remind you that if you see budget control and general ledger options you do need to pick your scenarios your budget scenarios but i am just going to check or choose budgetary control conditions what is the justifications you can put as a description on the mount Budget scenario is the same. Then you will put or enter the amount. I will transfer 3000 from this account to this account. Enter the same amount in from and to. And here, as you see, the transfer from you are going to transfer this amount from this value set to this value set by the same amount. Then you have to submit. System will give you that there is one process is completed. You can take it copy, okay, duplicate from these applications, go to tools, online, from tools, schedule processes. Try to search for still running and succeeded. One of them here is succeeded. Wait until the status for all of these four processes is succeeded. Just take some seconds. Just to refresh. All of them now is succeeded. Now come back to your budgetary control form. As you see here before, that here 100, 3000, and here 225. I just transfer 3000, so the total budget here must become 100,000. The 6000 shifted from here to here. Let me try to search for the same combination. Now, 
it's transferred successfully from this code combination to this value set to this value set by 3000 amount. Thanks for watching. This is the budgetary control overrides and transfer.